Hey guys, Break From Zombie here, back with another episode of Break From Zombie Minecraft. Today we are doing a tutorial on the Tinker's Construct mod. Uh, basically this is a mod that allows you to build a bunch of tools and weapons and that kind of stuff in all, all different types of um, all different types of ways uh, with a lot of different types of materials really awesome mod and uh, definitely worth downloading and trying out um, it can be a little difficult to learn that's why I'm doing this tutorial try to help you all out with some of the basics um, it'll actually probably be a two-part tutorial um, but yeah let's get started so when you install the mod the first thing you will notice is you have this book called materials and you um, in your hand um, basically what this is is a recipe book for the starter um, uh, items that you're going to need and you can just scroll through this book and um, it has all the recipes the recipes are very clear on what you need they're very easy to make and so these are the things that you're going to need to start off with here um, you're going to need a part builder a pattern chest stencil table and a tool station basically the way this works is um, you make you make your tools and weapons out of different parts so you're going to start off in the stencil table and you're going to put your blank patterns in here and then you uh, make stencils for the parts that you would need um, you can just kind of scroll through them here and find the ones you need and you find out the ones you need by going to the tool station clicking on it and selecting the tool you want to make so let's say we want to make a shovel um, we can see here um, that we need a shovel head and a handle which is a tool rod so we can come over here to the stencil table and so we come over here to the stencil table and we look for a shovel head which is right there make that stencil and then we look for a tool rod which is right here we we'll make that stencil then we go to the part builder and I'm gonna need to get myself some some stuff here let me see let's do let's do cobblestone um, you can make you can make parts out of a lot of different things oh look at that I had some co cobblestone in there um, but we're gonna use cobblestone in this case I'm over here to the I, I know you can't see my mouse cursor but over here to the right um, this gives you the uh, the stats of the material that you're using the base durability handle modifier mining speed mining level and attack and um, obviously the better material you use the higher these uh, numbers are going to be in this case we're just going to use stone so basically we put our our pattern in here and we grab the finished product out of there make our tool rod grab the tool rod um, as you can see the tool rod only used half of a cobblestone so that leaves a stone shard left over that we could make a, another tool rod out of if we wanted to so once we have our uh, parts for the tool we want to make we head back over to the tool station select the shovel put our head in here our tool rod here and we have our shovel now at this point you can name it if you want to so yeah you can do that um, then we just pick the shovel up and that's how you make uh, basic tools now you can also repair tools um, alright let me turn off the rain and make it daytime again you can also repair tools so like if we use this here and get a little bit damaged then we can go back in here um, we can go to the tool station again and use this little anvil up here on the right hand or on the left hand side my bad um, and basically what you're going to do is stick your shovel in here and being this uh, has a stone head we can use cobblestone to repair it so as we need we're going to just need one cobblestone for this repair so we just stick it in there and boom we have a repaired shovel so that's pretty cool so you can uh, repair any tool um, obviously the more expensive the tool the more expensive the material it's going to take to repair it 
So yeah, that's how you make um, basic tools in Tinker's Construct. Now your materials and U book will automatically update. As you can see, I have three different versions here. Um, as you progress uh, through the mod um, and build the different benches and stuff, the books will automatically be given to you. So it's not like something you have to um, build or anything. And each one has a wealth of information, so you you will definitely need all three of them. Um, so once you want to move on to tier two tools and weapons, you'll have to build a tool forge, which is really quite expensive to make. The recipe is in the first book. Um, as you can see, you need seared brick, blocks of iron, and a tool station to make that. But once you make that, you open up another hole. Uh, line of different tools and weapons. Um, now the difference between these and the others is these use um, some patterns that you can't necessarily make on the um, on the this part builder here. Um, for example, say we wanted to make a um, hammer and we wanted to make it out of iron. We could not make this hammerhead out of iron on this uh, on this table here it just won't allow us to do it because it's a tier 2 um, uh, thing so that is where the smeltery comes into play now this here is a smeltery that I've built um, and I will show you all how to build this in a little bit but for right now we're still going to concentrate on the um, uh, pattern building and that kind of stuff so basically, as you can see in here, I have a bunch of gold in here. Patterns for um, advanced uh, parts need to be uh, made out of gold. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to take this hammerhead. We're going to go here to Parts Builder. Put the hammerhead in here. We're going to make us a stone hammerhead. That's the highest we can make on the Parts Builder bench. So we take that stone hammerhead and we put it on our casting table here and then what we're going to do is we're going to pour gold over it to make a cast then once that sets up like that you can just grab both items and here we have our hammerhead cast now what we can do is put that cast back on here and switch this over to molten iron and make a iron hammerhead once that finishes pouring in there and sets up and we can grab the iron hammerhead and there we have it and then once you have that once you have all the pieces made then you can go back here and build your tool like I showed you earlier so that's how you make advanced um, cast and uh, advanced tool parts now onto the smeltery. Um, as you could, uh, you kind of saw what I did there. Um, but basically, you build a smeltery out of uh, seared brick. Excuse me. Um, and seared brick is made from grout. So basically, what you're going to do is you're going to craft in a crafting table. You're going to put clay, sand, and gravel, and then that will give you grout. Now, once you get the grout. You take that, put it in your furnace, and well, if I had some fuel, but basically that turns it into seared brick. Um, and then you take the brick. Let me get some here and show you. Uh, let's see here. Seared brick. Here we go. All right. Once this this is what you'll get from grout. Um, once you get seared brick then you can put that in a craft table in a pattern of four like this and that will give you seared bricks and you're gonna need a ton of them so that's um, that's what you build your uh, smeltery out of so let's go ahead and build one I've got all the materials here needed for one um, let's grab all this stuff and I'll show you on mine what 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 are you gonna need um, you're gonna need a controller you're going to need a seared tank and you're going to need at least one drain now all of the the recipes for all of these items can be found in 
uh, the mighty smelting book, which is right here. So let's go ahead and uh, go out here and get this built. So you're going to start off with a 3x3 three three, um, base. This is going to be the middle of your smeltery. And then you just surround it with another um, wall of, oops, oh, that don't matter. Uh, another wall of seared bricks. And that makes the base of your, of your uh, smeltery. Um, then you build up one layer. Be sure to remember to leave space for your um, your drain, your controller, and your seared tank. So we'll leave spaces there and uh, there. All right. So we put our controller in here. Put our seared tank here, and put our drain over here. And you'll know it's built right when you get fire coming out of the controller. Now there is no limit on how high you can uh, build this thing. The higher you build it, the uh, more the more ore that you can put in it at one time. So you fuel the smeltery with lava by um, just selecting a lava bucket and then right clicking on this tank here and that will put the lava into it and then um, you are ready to start smelting so let me grab some uh, iron ore here just for an example so you open up this window and you can place the iron ore in here also you can just hold shift and left click and it'll fill fill this up automatically so it's kind of a faster way to do it so as you can see all of them are um, starting to smelt simultaneously now this drain here is where you drain the um, ore out once it's smelted um, but you, for that you need to put a seared faucet on once again the pattern for that is um, in the book and you can either um, put it into a casting table like we did in there to make the patterns or you can uh, do it in a casting basin now if you put it in a casting basin basically what that's going to do is just make blocks of whatever um, whatever you put in there so once this gets smelted all the way I'll show you what I mean as you can see as it smelts it starts to fill up the tank here and it tells you how many ingots worth you have um, in the tank so once that's in there now we can just we can just right click on this uh, faucet here and it'll fill up this basin and once that's completely full it'll set up and turn into a block of iron now the cool thing about the smeltery is you get um, double return on whatever you put in it so in other words if I put nine blocks of iron ore in I'm going to get 18 ingots out so that's it's a really cool thing so that's how the uh, smeltery works um, and you can put as many drains as you want to on here um, there's not really a limit that I know of so you know if you want to put multiple drains multiple casting tables you can you can definitely do that so uh, yeah that covers the basics of it um, now this book here um, has a whole bunch of stuff about the um, different modifiers and different um, uh, different materials and everything and we'll go through that in another in another episode but um, for this episode I just wanted to show the the basics um, um, base you know how to build the basic tools how to build your smeltery and all that um, good stuff so yeah I uh, hope you enjoyed I hope this helps you out and we will see you next time